All right, dogs, it's Tay La back in the lab. We're in the contemplation cart in this video, giving you a quick reaction to Full Swing Season 2, Episode 7 and 8. It's the Ryder Cup episodes. Uh, so when I think of Zach Johnson as our country's Ryder Cup captain, I come to the same conclusion uh, that I came to after I visited Sioux Falls, South Dakota for the first time during college. One and done, brother! But it's easy to play Monday morning quarterback and stuff like this, especially after the colossal uh, bed shitting that happened in the first session when we got swept, which hadn't happened since 2016 when we did it to the Euros at Hazeltine. Uh, but I voiced my disapproval of Zach Johnson's captain's picks on JT and Ricky to my golf dogs as it was announced. Uh, but not sure if you recall this at the time that the captain's picks were coming out. Um, but there was this, this, this chatter, let's call it, chatter on the interwebs or amongst golf media and pundits that... There's an in-group, and subsequently there's an out-group uh, within professional golf. And at the time, I thought, hmm, yeah, interesting. Maybe there is. Maybe it, there are there are cliques uh, amongst grown men in, in a professional sports league. But in episode seven, you see Zach Johnson housing up with Spieth, JT, and Ricky uh, before the Open Champion championship in royal liverpool in the uk and it gave me this petty high school vibes after seeing that like he made his captain's picks based on who was sitting at the cool table in the cafeteria uh because jt had the worst season of his career last year he didn't even make the fedex cup playoffs he himself graded his last season in f um, yes, he has that dog in him, obviously, and he brings that energy to Ryder Cups, which we all love, um, uh, but didn't need to be there last year. He went one, two, and one in his matches. Now, Ricky had a good year after his well-documented slump, um, uh, but he had an abysmal Ryder Cup record going into Marco Simone, uh, and it only got worse because he went 0-2. Uh, his career Ryder Cup record now is 3-9-5. and five. Woof. So let's just say it was a toss-up between Ricky and Keegan Bradley, who finished ahead of Ricky uh, in the Ryder Cup points standings. And Keegan has a winning Ryder Cup career record, 4-3. and three. Uh, He's been in 2012 and 2014. Deeper dive, let's look at both of their wins last season. Ricky won the Rocket Mortgage Classic against a field that included Morikawa, Finau, Hideki, and Max Homa. Keegs, in his one victory last season, won the Travelers against a field that included all four of those golfers, but it also included guys like John Rahm, Scotty Scheffler, Patrick Cantlay, Rory, JT, Xander, Wyndham Clark, and Victor Hovland. So the math ain't mathin' on that pick. Uh, in JT's place, I would have taken either DJ or Bryson, but of course, since they're on live, you have the politics. They weren't even in the top 25 in the Ryder Cup qualifying points list. But if you used a pick on Brooksy, then apparently you're okay with dipping your toe in the forbidden Saudi pool. But DJ nor Bryson won a major last year, but they're just big and they have big games and which just makes them intimidating presences. And we needed some of that. DJ has a career record of 12 and nine in five Ryder Cup appearances, but Bryson at the 2021 Ryder Cup was some of the best golf I've ever watched. I freaking loved it. His drive off the first tee in his Sunday singles match against Sergio. Mm, I feel that in my plums 
today when I watched that. Just electric vibes at Whistling Straits. Uh, and the line he took on this 417-yard drive while playing uh, in a foursomes match with Scotty Scheffler is simply preposterous, I'm telling you. Uh, the cameraman uh, gave us whiplash and broke our fucking necks damn near, whipping the camera 100 yards to the left just to find the ball. So uh, Bryson, I would have taken a flyer on him just for his firepower off the tee. Me thinks Bryson and Scotty, uh, they were paired together in 2021. You know, it was kind of this weird energy with Bryson, but me thinks Bryson and Scotty would have been shredding up the Euros and Rome and sprinkling them on their carbonara uh, at night for dinner. So we kind of missed, I missed that energy between those two. But uh, so ZJ, appreciate the effort, but it sounds like either Tiger or Stuart Sink is going to be leading uh, our team uh, in New York at Path Page Black. So looking forward to that.